My name is Degi Plagat Kipruto. I like to wish my father and all fathers a happy Father's Day. Thank you. My name is Joel Kipchuchu. I would like to wish my father and all fathers around the world a happy Father's Day. May God bless them. Thank you. Happy Father's Day. Daddy, I love you. Hi, my name is Barbara. Happy Father's Day to all the fathers out there. I, I have a bath that will bless you this day. It comes from the book of Malachi chapter 6, chapter 4, verse 6. And he will turn the heart of the fathers to the children, and the heart of the children to their father. And the other verse comes from the book of Proverbs chapter 22, verse 6. Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. Happy Father's Day. May God bless you. My name is Tony. I would like to wish all the fathers out there a happy Father's Day. And to my dad, thank you for always being there for me. I love you, dad. Happy Father's Day. Happy Father's Day to the best dad in the world. He is so funny and so loving. Love you, dad. Hi, happy Father's Day. We love you, daddy. Bye-bye. My name is Joyima. I just want to wish my father a happy Father's Day. I love you, Dad, because you have been a blessing in my life and, and you have shown me the, a love that any child may wish for. May God bless you, Dad, you are the best. What's up, guys? I'm doing another video because well, this is all doing front flips. Okay, let's start. I love my dad so much. He takes us to golf, he takes us to outings. After that, he buys some balls, some toys. And after that, He's my best father in the whole life world, and I dream he was that's my father. I wish nothing happens to him. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Happy Father's Day, Daddy. Love you. Happy Father's Day. boys and girls how are you doing i hope you're doing fine it's another day that the lord has made and so you'll be glad and rejoice in it uh, i want to welcome you into the service for today and before we start let us just uh, let us just pray father god we come before you we thank you for this day we bless your name as we start our service we just welcome your presence to be with us as we go on may, as we praise as we worship lord may you just receive it in jesus name we pray amen god is good the time. And all the time. God is good. Yeah, today is a special day. It's a Father's Day. So let us appreciate our daddy. To pick you to my coffee. And we Jesus loves you. And we also and we also have to appreciate our father who was eating, who is in heaven. Yes. Yeah, so we thank you, God, our father. We thank you for our daddy. And also thank you for our mommies, my father. Thank you for brothers and sisters, our cousins, our grandparents. Praying this, believe it was in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Now it's time to praise the Lord and to worship Him. So, this mama is water. See your gope. Patike mbaya sana. Let's clap. Wana ni ngome angu na wimo angu amekuwa mokozi wa. Shine, yes, 
Just Dance Oh uh-huh. 
father and mother as the Lord your God has commanded you, that your days may be prolonged, that it may go well with you on the land which the Lord gives you. Let us believe and pray. Loving God, sometimes we forget to be helpful and kind. Please may you forgive us, Lord. May you, may you help our children to know your will and evade what it desires that may deceive them. May you give them the grace to follow your will. Show them how to honor their parents, that your blessings may follow them in this land. May you grant them good health and longevity. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Good morning, uh, children, and welcome to our today's service. We want to thank you for watching us. and. Uh, just a quick reminder of what we've been learning. Uh, Teacher Millie taught us about uh, giving. Then we had uh, last week Teacher Joseph who taught us about ways to give and how to give. And so that takes us to our today's lesson, uh, which is about talents. And uh, talents are, are one of ways that we can give what God has given unto us. So. Uh, before we start, I want to give you a second to get your Bible, to get your pen, and to get your notebook so that we can learn together from the Word of God. So our today's topic is talents. Talents. And so <coughs> we wa want to start by just knowing what is talent all about, what is talent. And so we are saying that talent or a talent is a special ability is a special ability that allows someone to do something really well. Also, a talent is a God-given ability or a skill or a gift that God has given everyone that one is born with uh, that allows them to do something really, really, really well without struggling so, so much. So for a talent, we don't learn them we can only be born with them, and they are given by God. And so, just a quick question. Do you have any talents? And before we start our lesson, I want you to do a little exercise. I want you to write down a list of talents that you think you might have, and as we continue, we will check them out and see what God has gifted you with. So, um, in your list... Uh, whatever talent that you, you think you have, kindly note them down, then we will know them as we continue. So, where does a talent come from? Where does a gift come from? And so for us to understand where these talents, where these gifts uh, come from, we need to look from our Bibles and see so that we can understand where we get these talents from. So let us go straight to our Bibles. Open with me uh, from the book of James, from the book of James, chapter 1 and verse 17. This is to answer the question where do talents come from? James chapter 1 and verse 17. And I will read. It says, 
James chapter 1, verse 17, if you've opened with me. Every good and perfect gift is from above, coming down from God. Wow. So, that question has been answered, that every gift that we have, that we possess, only comes and comes from God, who is our Father. And so, <clears throat> I have another question for you, for us. And the question is, can someone have more than one talent? Can you have more than one talent? And for us to be able to understand all that, or to be able to answer that question, then we will need to go to our Bibles and see because the Bible is the book that explains to us what God says and what he wants us to do. So for us to understand if someone can have more than one talent, let's go to our Bibles. And our story comes from the book of Matthew, chapter 25 and verses 14 to 30. Now, before we go to our Bibles, I want to tell you a little story. And... Uh, it's about someone, a master, who was going to a journey. And as he was going, as he was leaving, he decided, all these people who are my servants, who work for me, I want to give them something little, something for them, so that I can leave them with. Uh, could be skills, could be a gift. And so, all of them, the three of them, because he had three uh, servants, he gave them something. And one, he gave five. Five of them, of those gifts. And another one, he gave two. And another one, he gave one. So, for us to be able to understand this story that I'm telling you about, let's go to our Bibles from the book of <coughs> Matthew, chapter 25, verses 12, uh, 14 to verse 30. And I will quickly, quickly read so that we may uh, go together. So let's turn to our Bibles, Matthew, chapter 25, and verse 14 to verse number 30. Again, it will be like a man going to a journey who called his servants and entrusted his wealth to them. To one, he gave five bags of gold, another two bags, another one bag, and each according to his ability. Then he went on his journey. The man who had received five bags of gold went at once and put his money in work and gained five bags more. So also, the one with two bags of gold gained two more. But the one who had received one bag went off, dug a hole in the ground, and he hid his master's money. After a long time, the master of those servants returned and settled account with them. The man who had received five bags of gold brought another uh, other five. The master, uh, master, he said, you entrusted me with five bags of gold. I have gained five more. His master replied, well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful with few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. The man with two bags of gold also came. Master, he said, you entrusted me with two bags of gold. See, I have Two more. His master replied, Well done, good and faithful servant. You've been faithful of uh, you've, you've been faithful with a few things. I will put you in charge of many things. Come and share your master's happiness. Then the man who had received one bag of gold came. Master, he said, I knew that you are a hard man, harvesting where you have not sown and gathering where you have not put scat uh, where you have not scattered seed so i was afraid and went and hid your gold into the ground see here is what belongs to you his master replied you wicked lazy servant 
you knew that I harvest where I have not sown and gather where I have not scattered seed. Well then, you should have put my money on deposit and put the bank uh, with the bank so that when I returned, I would have received it back with interest. So take the bag of gold from him and give it to one who has ten bags. For whoever he will be give, uh, for whoever has will be given more, and they will have an abund- abundance. Whoever does not have, even that, even what they have will be taken from them, and throw that worthless servant outside into the darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. And that is the word of God. So. Into that, uh, according to that little story that we've heard from the book of Matthew, I want us to see what are some of the lessons, I'm at some, of the, or some of the words that are lessons that we can get from that story that we've read from Matthew. But before we do that, let's go to our today's memory verse, which comes from 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 10. 1 Peter chapter 4, and verse 10. And it says this, As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. I'll repeat, As each has received a gift, use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. So, from that story that we've learned uh, we will have two points that I want us to, uh, to, to go through. And the first point is this. God has given each one of us a talent. You, me, everyone in the whole world has been given a gift by God. So you have a gift. You have a talent that God has given to you. Now, how do we know this? The, the master who is our God gave all those servants that he had, which were three, everyone a gift. Some were given more, others were given uh, less. Okay? So, because each and everyone has a gift, the question is this, how then do we do or use our gifts. Because some have more, some have little. So that answers our question that everyone has been given a gift. And the other question that we had asked was, can someone have more than one talent? And we have said, seen that the master gave some, three, or some five, and others two, and others one. So if the Lord has given you one, what are you, what am I supposed to do? I am supposed to use it. I am supposed to use it to glorify God with that gift that he has given unto me. So I want us to go back to that little list of ours and check all the talents that you have and ask yourself, am I using it uh, to the glory of God or am I just sitting on it and not doing anything? Because if I don't use it, I'll be like that little servant who just hid his talent on the ground. Number two, God expects us to make good use of the talent he has given us. God expects us to make good use of the talent that he has given us. For example, the first servant and the second servant used their talents and gained to double what they were given. And when the master, the, serv- the master of the servants came, he was very, very happy. And for us, little children, for us, our master is our God. And when we use our talents, when, then he becomes very happy and he welcomes us into his good kingdom and his good hands. But when we don't use those gifts that he has given, or those talents that he has given us, then he is not very, very happy. So today, I want you to look into the gift and ask yourself, 
which of these gifts am I using or am I not using? And then you can start using your talent, your gift that the Lord has given to you. I want to tell you a little story in a few seconds about someone, a very great king who existed called David, who used his gift of playing an instrument called an up. And when he used that well, then he made the king Saul very, very happy, and God was able to use him and bless him because he used his talent. So I want us to pray together because of the talents that God has given to us, and I want you to say this prayer with me. Heavenly Father, I praise you for the talent that you've given me. I pray that you help me identify it and use it to the glory of your name. I also ask you to help me use it to serve others as your word has commanded. You, uh, commanded. I also request that, Lord, you will help me to be able to use the talent that you've given to us. So let's pray. Father, we thank you for this lesson. We pray that, Lord, we'll be found faithful of the talents and the gifts that you've given unto each and every single one of us. Uh, may you be blessed. May you be lifted up, be, be, uh, lifted up high. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for, the le- uh, for listening. Thank you for uh, watching us. We pray that the Lord will continue to bless you and your families. We want to uh, encourage you to catch us next week as we continue with the theme of this month. And just as a sneak preview, next week will be our Creative Sunday. And be ready to experience the Lord through the service. So thank you very much. And may the Lord bless you. May the Lord bless your families. Keep safe and continue to pray and use your talent. Hi, my name is Arcadius Anubi. Um, I'm married to Edna Dali. We've been married for the last 15 years and uh, together we have three active boys. Uh, The eldest is Amani, who's 12. Uh, Ben, who's nine, and uh, the last born is Nate. He's three years old. Um, I was asked to share uh, some of the activities we've been engaging with the boys during this period. And uh, initially, the challenge was on how to manage uh, how to manage their time. Um, and so we agreed that they would uh, write the activities that they'd engage in through the day uh, in form of a timetable. And uh, what this timetable would capture would be their screen time, the times that they would play outside, the time that they would revise their classwork, and also time that they'd learn a new skill. And so when they, ha- when they were done uh, writing this timetable, we sat together and just merged some of the ideas and also added on some. And then uh, I think what was critical for us as parents was to be able to bond with them and also just uh, create a sense of responsibility or teach them a new skill during this uh, season. Uh, So it's been great. Uh, It's been interesting because uh, we've been able to bond in in various ways. We've uh, been taking walks with them where we get to listen and uh, just answer some of their questions. We played board games (laughs) where we've also had to be children to a great extent. And they've also seen us, I think, in a different light. Uh, surprisingly, the boys have also taken to cooking and uh, we've enjoyed some meals from them and this has also enabled them bond even a lot more with their mom. We've even gone as far as organizing for where they've competed against each other, some sort of cooking competitions, which they've really been excited about. Um, they've also been able to read the Bible a bit more in storybooks and so like in the evenings, they would be able to share how their day was and some of the things that they learned. Uh, I think it's just been a challenge for us as parents and uh, this has indeed been the silver lining because uh, we've gotten to grow closer, we've gotten to learn a lot more, we've gotten to be deliberate uh, about these activities in their lives. Uh, I think the challenge for me is uh, in the manner that the Bible would say, train up a child in the way that he should go and when he's old he shall not depart from these ways. I I just get the feeling that this this has been a good investment in their lives and in ours. And um, I think a challenge to the rest of the parents is 
the thing about training up a child you it you can be active about it or you can be passive but either way you're training them so i just say that we should get deliberate <laughs> and just have activities that will enable us get closer to our children god bless you Thank you so much for interacting with our uh, social media content. Maybe you're there looking for a church or you gained interest about our church and you'd like to, to join and become a member of the church. We want you to send your phone number and your name to our WhatsApp line. We'll get in touch with you and show you how you can be a member of this amazing church. Let's change the world together.